Hello, I'm Chris Menard. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to pull in recurring events into a Google Calendar from a CSV file. Right off the bat, I want you to know this. You can't do recurring events into a CSV file by default. So I'm in Microsoft Excel. The file will still be a CSV file when I'm done, but I'm going to use the date function and the year function to pull in annual recurring events. It doesn't have to be annual. I'm just going to use annual as my example. This could be monthly. This could be quarterly. It could be whatever you want to. So in row one, I have the required fields for my Google Calendar import. If you recall from my previous videos, and I'll put links to all the previous videos down below, subject and start date are the two required fields. You do have to have those in. So I don't need column C to column I. I don't have to put any information in here because these are all day events. So I just kept this easy. I put four of them in here. You can either do a copy, paste, copy, paste, and paste again, or I'm going to undo. I could have selected these and auto filled down if I wanted to. Either method is fine. Let me put it back the way it was though, right there. If you get off, no big deal, but I'm starting off in the year 2022. And I want to go out to the year 2025 with these. I'm doing it annual. So Susan Jones' birthday is in cell B2. I'm going to do equals date. And then I'm going to add the date function has three arguments, year, month, and date. So I'm going to add the year. I want to take the year, whatever's in cell B2. And I want to add a year to it. So 2022 plus the number one would be 2023, comma, I'm on the next argument for the date function, which is month. So put in the month, and I still want the month to say the same, comma, and now the day, again, B2. So I should get, if this is done correctly, 325-2023, if you get a number, don't be alarmed. Just use your format painter. Click one of the dates. Click the format painter. Click that number. 325-2023. There's the formula again in the formula bar. Crosshairs. And I want to end up stopping at Tom's birthday. Right there. I don't need this row. There we go. So I've got the year 2022 through 2025 for these four different annual events. I've already made this a CSV file. If not, you'll do a file, save as CSV. I'm just going to hit save. What's cool is when you make it a CSV file, I don't have to worry about doing a copy paste values. I can just close out of Excel, pull up my Google Calendar. So let's jump to that. Let's make sure this works, by the way. I'm taking a look here, header rows in row one. The data stops in row 17, so that should be 16 records that get imported into the Google Calendar. Close that. Already got the Google Calendar running. Quick tip, I recommend you don't pull this into your main calendar, which my main calendar says Chris Menard. I recommend you create a new calendar and pull it into that one. Why, in case you're wondering, if you have a mistake, it is really hard to delete multiple events in the Google Calendar unless the events are recurring events. All the events I just did in the CSV file are one-time events. You have to manually do each one, and I don't want to sit there and have to manually delete each one. So I always come in here, go to Settings and Sharings, Add Calendar, Create a New Calendar. I'm making this up annual events. I could have called it birthdays. I could have called it trade shows. Click on create. So I've got a new calendar now. Over here to the left is import. I'm going to import this. Select the file. There's the file CSV. Hit open. Pause. Breathe. Take a second. And just remember Chris Menard said, make sure you change this because it'll always pull up your default calendar. 
to that calendar you just created so you don't pull it into your main calendar. Here we go, we should get 16. Perfect, I wanna go test it though. I'm gonna hit okay. If you recall, I think everything was in uh, February and March. Let me just jump to 2022. Actually, it was March and April. March and April, there we go. To jump to 2023, just to test one more year, press the letter Y, because I'm in month view. Y takes you to year view. Pop over to 2023, double click March 1 or something. There's March, one more month. There's April, I'm not gonna look at 2024 in 2025 because it appears to be working. The reason I said to, I'm gonna click on today. The reason I said to make a new calendar and pull it in here, it's very easy to pop and show other calendars over here to the left. And if I needed to, I would have to delete all 16 events on the annual calendar individually, but I could come in here if I screwed up, pull up the annual events calendar, all the way at the bottom is delete, permanently delete. So now I'm not worried about those events. I could always make a new calendar and do it again. Let me know if you have any comments or questions, ring the bell, subscribe, and I'll put all my other YouTube importing videos regarding pulling a CSV file into a Google Calendar down below. I appreciate your time and have a wonderful day. Thank you.